In this video, I'm bringing you the ultimate guide to create ultra-realistic, cinematic AI photos with Midjourney's new style templates called Style Tuner. You will master everything related with Style Tuner, including creating and refining your unique style templates on Midjourney for cinematic realism, or any style you want, generating multiple images quickly with consistent styles, adjusting strength of your style and combining multiple styles together. Style Tuner allows us to train our personal style and add as a parameter to the end of any prompt. As a synthesized visual style, it helps you discover your unique aesthetic taste and certainly shortens prompt length. Style Tuner shows you a ton of different styles related to a starting prompt. You chose the ones you like and it combines them into a new style replacing the mid-journey base style. You can tag your style in the end of your prompts to maintain that look. You can generate lot of images very quickly using the same style template. And coolest thing is you can merge multiple styles and share these them with other people using a shareable style code. At the end of this video, I will share the code for our newly created cinematic ultra-realism style so you can use them as style template on your images. Also, I will show you how you can save this as sticky style so you can reuse it without copy-pasting the code every single time. Let's create a style step by step. We're going to head to Discord and type slash tune the prompt bar. After that, we will add a prompt. The prompt is important because we will train our own style based on images will be generated from this prompt. Keep in mind that style controls appearance, personality, colors, and character details. You can optimize for various prompts, settings, including aspect ratios, even image plus text prompts. Let's look at the breakdown of my prompt. On the most foundational level, I want a cinematic look but in the same time I want to keep it realistic. That's why I added documentary photography and editorial keywords to my prompt to train mid-journey to include realistic looking people and places in the cinematic aesthetic. Most of the mid-journey images you will see online are symmetrical images with subject is generally in the center. We want our style to be different from others. That's why we are adding Dutch angle shot, candid shot, off-center shot keywords to create and fine-tune off-center tilted shots. My subject and place of the film has added as a placeholder for now. Once we fine-tune our style, we can change subject and place to anything we want. My choice of camera and lens for elevated cinematic look will be ARRI Flex with Canon K35 Prime lenses, but you can experiment with variety of other cinematic cameras and film stocks with unique visual characteristics. I continue adding my favorite photo realism and cinematic keywords to my prompt. For example, cinematic color grading, national geographic photo, realistic skin, film grain, cinematic light, 35mm and more. I will finalize my prompt with few mood keywords and set the emotional tone. I have few keywords that I avoided adding to my prompt. They cause very strong visual aesthetic changes and therefore I only recommend to use them if you're completely sure of your creative direction. These keywords are dystopic sci-fi, cyberpunk, for more science fiction feel look with a dark atmosphere. Nordic True Crime Story, if you want to add a truly dark atmosphere to your images, dark color correction. William Eggleston style for more vibrant, saturated Hollywood color correction and with images capturing beauty in the everyday, highlighting aesthetics in ordinary life and urban landscapes. Whimsical, bizarre, unconventional results, great for fantasy and thriller films. In our example, I wrote this prompt to maximize cinematic ultra-realism. After constructing our base prompt, we will select how many training images we want. These can be 16, 32, 64, 128. More style direction we request, more possibilities to fine-tune our unique style, and it gets more expensive to create. Next step is selecting between default and raw mode. I made a full video on this before but I like to exclude default mid-journey aesthetic and embrace style raw because my base prompt already includes creative direction for my style and I want to be sure it's fully reflected on my grid. Once you've submitted, you'll be notified by the mid-journey bot with a link. Open that link, and you'll be presented with your individual style tuner to refine the results by selecting different styles for your base prompt to create your own unique style aesthetic. To do that, you can toggle your view, two styles at a time or one huge grid and pick your favorites. Mid-journey recommends picking 5 to 10 images here. But, more images you pick, the more it gets precise. Now you've done that, you'll spot two options. Your code is the code that you can add to the end of a prompt using this structure. Second option is share this page. It copies the URL, so that you can share your grid page with others to train the same tuner. Let's take our style code and run it. Use it like any other parameter, type your new prompt, add your style code at the end. For my tune style, it looks like this. And here's what it does. On the left side you can see same prompt without tune style and on the right side you will see style tune version. Either way, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're enjoying this video so far.
I train style tuner with candid, Dutch angle shots even in the regular portrait photography I started to see more off-center asymmetrical compositions. In the same way, you can condition mid-journey to give you more diverse results or more polished fashion Instagram images. To create similar aesthetics across many images in bulk, we can use permutation feature from mid-journey together with style tuner. Once you create your style code, use this format. This prompt will create three different prompts with three different shapes of tables one by one in bulk and all 12 images in three grids will maintain the same consistent style. It's also possible to change strength of your style. Dash dash stylize combined with style code controls the strength of your style. Here you can see three different style strength values applied to the same prompt. Next, you can combine multiple style codes using this format. Let's look at the example of combining two different tuners. First style is cinematic realism but with an emphasis on candid shots and darker atmosphere and second tuner is also cinematic realism but it can be considered less opinionated in terms of shot types and it's slightly brighter. In this new prompt, I'm combining these styles and connecting them to each other. Notice, you don't need to write raw for the second style, it's enough to connect these codes with a dash. Here is the end result, it's highly realistic yet still cinematic. Now let me show you how you can save and reuse your style code directly on mid-journey. Since the code is a random combination of numbers and letters, it's not easy to remember. Here are two ways to simplify this process. Tip 1. Reuse code with sticky style. Sticky style will save the last style parameter used in your personal suffix, so you don't have to repeat the code on future prompts. After setting up your suffix, use the slash settings command and turn on sticky style. When sticky style is turned on, you just need to type your prompt and it will automatically attach your style code at the end to every prompt you're typing. Tip 2. Save code with custom option. Slash prefer option set creates a custom parameter that you can use to add multiple parameters to the end of prompts quickly. Next time you just need to type the style name you set without needing to copy and paste the full code every single time. I have to say, I really like this new feature from Mid Journey. It's an another step towards creative freedom. And computational aesthetics is a truly magical new emerging field under generative AI field. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more awesome content. If you want to learn more about creating AI art with Mid Journey and everything AI related click here.